Hey everybody, it's Julie from abeautifulhearts.com. Today I'm showing some of my health and beauty products that I use on a daily basis. Shampoo and conditioner. Um, I like Desert Essence. You can even see the water on here because I just took it out of the shower. <laughs> um, so this is their fragrance free. I tried the no poo method for like a year before I gave up. It just did not work for my hair. This is what I've been using for, I don't know, almost a year now I think and I don't see switching. I will link things below if I can find them online. I don't know if you're gonna find this everywhere, but you'll probably find a version of something like this. So I thought I would show you. <laughs> this is like the bulk um, way to buy this. So it's just got the um, like limited packaging. I bought this on azurestandard.com. Um, it's like a co-op. You could probably go to a health food store and buy something like this. Soap bars, so they have like the little UPC code here. But other than that, they're just in here, and there's 12 of them, so it came in this, so I can like recycle this, and then there's just the sticker as far as packaging goes, because I'm trying to do like a little less wasteful, but I'm like nowhere close to zero, so. But the ingredients are only non-GMO food grade oils of sustainable palm and coconut, water, sodium hydroxide, which is like the stuff that makes it saponify, um, and then none of that remains in the soap once it's saponified and then just glycerin. So that's all there is. They have different like fragrances and stuff, but I just got the plain one. This is vegan, cruelty-free, biodegradable, handcrafted, wire cut, air dried, exceptionally mild, minimal packaging. So I have been using this for probably almost a year now too, I think. And the bars last a long time, so I won't have to buy that again for a while. Here's one thing that I don't use like all the time. I kind of go through ebbs and flows with it, but I love how soft my skin is when I use this thing. But I will link this, I think I got this on Amazon, you can also probably get it at a health food store, Whole Foods or something. But it's a skin brush, like a dry brush, so you do like circular pattern from like the tips of your fingers all the way up like to your heart they say, and then from like your toes all the way up your leg up to your heart and then like your back and I guess you're going to your, I don't know why that's a thing, but, um, but it's supposed to like help your body kind of detox, so you're like sloughing off dead skin cells. All that stuff so there's been lots of blog posts about it but um anyways it's kind of like a form of de detoxification dry skin brush but even if you don't care about detoxification like it makes your skin really soft and smooth so that's awesome definitely gonna start using this again right now I use disposable razors because I bought a huge thing of them from one of those big box stores like years ago <laughs> they, and I still have a ton of them. Eventually I want to start using a safety razor and just buy the blades. Um, it's going to take me a while to get used to it, I know. So I'm kind of nervous about that transition, but I've heard a lot of women say once you make the transition you'll like it and it's fine. I made a video about this so I will link it up in the cards. Um, this is my homemade deodorant so it's like three or four ingredients and I've been doing this for years. I'll use this um, witch hazel astringent. Um, it says gentle, soothing, non-drying. It's just 100% witch hazel. And, um, yeah. That's what I use for, like, to put on my face before I put on this. <laughs> yes, I just use olive oil, and this isn't necessarily a promotion of this brand. I don't know if this is the like, best brand of olive oil. But I use olive oil. I tried using coconut oil, and I felt like it was drying to my skin. I didn't really like coconut oil as a moisturizer, which a lot of people talk about using, um, but for me, olive oil I liked a lot better. I've used um, like almond oil before and I like that too. I think olive is just cheaper and I feel like with like Mediterraneans, I've probably been using it for like ever, I don't know. But um, yeah, so olive oil I'll use just a little bit um, as body lotion and even a face lotion. So I'm not, um, what do you call it, like a beautician or anything, so don't quote me that you should be doing this. but. I do it, so <laughs> this isn't me telling you to put oil on your face if you don't want to, do what you want, but this is something that I've been doing for a while now. Um, and then I talked about this on my Instagram the other day, uh, dry shampoo, it's just air root powder um, and just use a funnel to get it in here. I got this at like a grocery store, so it's like a Parmesan cheese shaker or something, I don't know, some kind of seasoning shaker, but, um, but it's air root powder and so I'll just shake it on, actually did it today. A little bit um, shake it on the roots and then kind of brush it through and you can't even tell that it's in there but um, yeah I've had this spray stuff a little bit but I didn't want to keep buying that so um, I decided to use this instead 
then it's a lot less packaging. Again, I'm not perfect in the packaging department. I still go grocery shopping and buy a whole bunch of regular stuff. But there are some things that I've switched over and like I don't even notice a difference. So just trying to do that little by little. Um, earth paste, this I have tried making before and I will probably leave, um, buy some more of like the clay and like make it again. I'll leave a link in the description box on how to make it yourself if you want to. Um, it's somebody else's link. I haven't made a video or anything, but, um, but earth paste is what I like for toothpaste. My husband will even use it. So there's that. This is the wintergreen one. It has purified water, food grade, Redmond clay, Zillatol, wintergreen essential oil, menthol, Redmond real salt, and tea tree oil. So it's super clean. Brushing your teeth with dirt. Awesome. <laughs> I just bought this a little while ago so I haven't been using this for years or anything but I have been using it for the past couple of months like on and off a little bit I'm trying to use it more now than um, I have been it's a coconut hair defrizzer and heat protector um, because I'm just trying to work with what I got with my hair I've always cut and thinned my hair because um, it's super thick and it tends to get frizzy and stuff but um but lately I've been spraying like I'll brush it but then when I brush it, it gets kind of big <laughs> um, you might not be able to tell but like every hairdresser that's ever done my hair is like, wow, your hair is so thick, like especially in the back right here. So this is kind of helping to um, tame some of the frizz and stuff and just kind of like pat it back down. <laughs> um, and it's the same brand as this. So that's why I was kind of like, well, this has got to be kind of um, decent ingredients and stuff like that. So anyway, so I'm using that. And then this is the one that I haven't gotten away from yet um, that I'm sure is not, you know, great for breathing in and all that stuff. I don't even know what all those ingredients are. Um, but anyways, this is what I'm using. It's the Tresemme number four hairspray. I tried using this other hairspray before, but it was like a squirt, squirt hairspray. And I just felt like my hair was getting wet. I didn't feel like it was, you know, really holding my hair. So I don't really like this. I don't like that it's an aerosol either. But, um, I'm open to suggestions, like, maybe I just need to not use hairspray, I need to use, like, some other type of product that is more natural or something. I don't know, I know they're, like, homemade hairsprays, but I feel like they're all in those squirt, squirt ones that are just, like, feel like my hair is weighed down. So anyways, open to suggestions here. If you have, like, a natural type of hair holding product or something, um, let me know about that. So that's everything that I have for today. I hope I didn't forget anything. Is there anything that I've forgotten here that I should mention in a future video? Um, I am thinking about doing a makeup video. I found a few products that I like, but I'm still switching things over. So let me know your thoughts in the comments or any brands that you like that are like more natural-ish type brands. And um, thanks for watching. Subscribe for more content from me. And I will see you in my next video. And give this a thumbs up if you liked it. See you later. Bye.